Hi friends. So I'm sitting here and getting some things ready to start recording your February videos and there's just a lot of weird stuff going on. A lot of different signs that usually don't go together, kind of having similar energies. So I wrote myself some notes of some things that I didn't want to include in your um, individual signs videos just because there's so many commonalities and then it would make your videos longer. Which, who's got time to sit down and watch like a bajillion hour video? So anyway, um, signs in February that are taking this whole mind, body, soul connection stuff a little too seriously. Um, you got to chill, okay? Things aren't that serious. Aquarius, it's you. Aries, Libra. Pisces and Cancer. That's nearly half of you guys. Okay? Chill. It's okay. Not everything is going to be flowing and working 100% 100% of the time. Okay? Um, you don't need to freak out about that kind of stuff. Like if something isn't feeling right on a mental level, like we don't have to like do all this stuff to get everything balanced out. There's a reason for it. There's something you're going to learn from it. This whole... Um, you know, maybe you're getting like super, super into yoga or meditation and it just might not be the thing for you this month. Your personal, um, not your personal, but I mean, your personal video would tell you the most, right? If you got a personal reading, but your, um, your Zodiac signs videos, when those come out, will give you more specific details as to what you need this month. But, um, all you guys, Aquarius, Aries, Libra, Pisces, Cancer, taking this stuff a little too far, a little too seriously, okay? Chill. Chill out. February. Um, Libra. You, um, you seem to be the biggest hot mess as far as, like, all of these, like, universal forces this month. Um, so they're saying shadow work, connecting to your intuition, trying to get grounded into reality, um, to find ways to better your life, like all of these challenges, like, you know, trying to manifest what it is that you want for the future. Chill out. Chill out. You're pushing too hard this month. Um, it's really hard for you to experience peace and calm this month and to really connect to your source energy. But that's for a reason, okay? You're, you're putting too much pressure on yourself and it's making it really difficult for you to, like, actually follow your instincts you're like pushing too hard okay and we know when we push for something hard we actually are creating a resistance energy um that's why when people are really desperate to find a love match it takes them longer than somebody who's just like you know walking around living their life and then they bump into prince charming so chill out chill libra um gemini this is not the month for cleanses, <laughs> and also your intuition's a little bit off. You're going to be trying to trust your intuition, um, but a lot of you are going to sort of be picking up on like different fears or things like that and assuming that it's intuition, so just um, kind of let that go. If you're the type who's like doing like um, cleanses, colonics, you're um, drinking lemon water all the time... You got to stop doing that at least for a little bit in the month of February because it's not going to help you, okay? Um, your timing is just off. It's not going to help you overcome the challenges that you need to overcome. Um, it's And actually, here's the thing. Your challenges this month, Gemini, are um, supposed to be there. You're learning something from these. And part of that is like certain problems we don't need to force an answer or a result, Okay. Um, other notes I took. Sagittarius. Um, your intuition, you're trying to like trust your instincts, okay? You're trying to go with your gut. You're trying to follow your intuition. And so some of you are trying to develop that. This month is going to be challenging for you to do that. So if you kind of just like let it be and like kind of just let things flow to you, you'll be more effective. Cancer. Same kind of deal as Gemini with the whole cleansing stuff. No. It's not for you this month. Um, also dealing with your challenges, um, try, you know, kind of just saying, okay, here's my challenges and I'm just going to like bulldoze through them. Not for you. Um, it might be the kind of month where you just want to like sit back and watch and see how things unfold. Um, when you are trying to force yourself to calm down and chill out, that's not going to work. Okay. 
So you're going to have to find ways to create an environment in which you are naturally calm, okay, which kind of means like all of these challenges, not trying to bulldoze through them. Um, Taurus, also, stop pushing. You too. You don't need to be so persistent. Um, it's just not the right vibe for you either. Uh, here's the weird thing for Taurus too. Some of you might be like, Oh, I want to be more spontaneous. Like, I want to be more, you know, like fun loving. And I'm just like going to be spontaneous so people think I'm spontaneous. Um, no, it's not. You don't have to do that to prove you're fun. You're fun. We like you. Um, and then the same kind of deal as cancer where you can't really just like say, okay, I'm going to force myself to be calm. That's like on a weird, like deeper more inner level, you can't just like say, okay, I will be calm because whatever is causing you to kind of feel like you need to force this calm, like peaceful energy is exactly what's inhibiting you from really embracing and feeling that calm and peaceful energy. <laughs> okay. And then finally, Scorpio, um, you can't force yourself to release pain and, um, you also can't just like force yourself to go back and like really connect with that inner child. Like shit's happened. You're a grown up now. Um, but you can't just go, okay, you know what? That pain that's there, like I'm going to deal with it today because it's like creating barriers in my life and obstacles and I'm all about breaking patterns. I mean, all those things are wonderful, but you can't deal with certain things until um, you get to like a certain level in which you are equipped to deal with those things. Everybody has trauma in their life, right? But some of these traumas, like you have to learn certain lessons and develop a certain sense of maturity or experience or even be at a certain level of calm or peace before you can go back and deal with that. So if you're trying to go backwards and do like the shadow work like Libra might be, um, it just might not be the month for you. So this is a lot of things like, hey, don't do this. But And so it feels like a negative thing, right? But the reason why I'm telling you this is because um, – it will actually help you to kind of move down the path in which you're learning the lessons in the right time in the right way and therefore have more of that peaceful energy that a lot of you are seeking. Um, you're actively resisting it in your search for it um, accidentally. So I just wanted to get that out of the way uh, before your Zodiac sign videos come out. Um, so... <coughs> Yeah, Aquarius, Aries, Libra, Pisces, Cancer. Don't take things so serious. Libra, don't try to force things. Gemini, um, same kind of deal. <laughs> Sagittarius, just go with the flow. Cancer, don't try to force things either. Taurus, same deal. Scorpio, um, things will kind of heal on their own time. And I know they say like time heals all wounds. It doesn't. <laughs> Those wounds are still there, right? And that's what you know, which is why you're trying to go backwards and deal with it. But sometimes time allows us the opportunity to get to a point where maybe that pain is still there, but it's um, more of a dull ache now as opposed to like, you know, an acute stabbing. So, um, it makes it easier to kind of slowly deal with in a more healthy way. So I just wanted to throw that out there. Okay, love you tons.